Good afternoon YouTube. So I'm getting ready to make up another batch of my baking soda and Murphy's oil soap cleaner because I have to uh, clean the clear plastic surfaces on my solar air heaters. So we're getting into heating season and I need to uh, make a new batch. The old stuff kind of dried up here so I just poured a uh, bunch of baking soda in there really no measurements to this you just want to go until you get kind of the right consistency I always forget how much it takes you kind of want to go for roughly a toothpaste consistency you don't want it too runny and you don't want it too thick yeah, I just keep this container put it in put it away for the year I only use this maybe once or twice a year and you can see how the old stuff kind of dried up on the bottom, but you just want something that uh, you can get onto a sponge and you need enough liquid in it because this is the only thing I use to clean the plastic. I don't bring any water up there, I just use this and you keep scrubbing this in until it, it dries out and then leaves that residue on the clear plastic and then tonight it's supposed to rain over an inch of rain and that'll wash all of this off because this is essentially soap washes off with water and then it's baking soda which is going to dissolve in the water and all of your uh, residue washes off with no additional work so yeah good afternoon YouTube I guess we're going to try to clean the uh, hot air panels here so you can see it's just starting to rain. You can see the dirt build up on there. It's time to give them a wash down here before it starts raining. Yeah, so there we go. Get another. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to continue on, finish the rest of the panels. But about two more sections to do and then Hopefully the rain will come along and wash all this off. Well, there we go. Used oh, about half of what I made up, so I'm just going to put the rest of this away for next year. And you can see how dirty the sponge got there. That's all the dirt that was picked up off those two hot air panels. And then a lot of it was left as the residue up on top. So i got to rinse that out, but yeah, that's how you can clean clear plastic with Murphy's oil soap and baking soda. Okay, there we go, YouTube. It's been a, oh, a week or so since we had the big rainstorm and you can see how the, all the residue from the Murphy's oil soap and baking soda is washed off. So now what I do is I get up here with the Formula 303 protectant and just kind of give everything a spray and a wipe down and that should get me good for another another heating season here. And we can it's fairly clear there. You can kind of see we're not picking up a whole lot of dirt. All the hard work was done by the rainstorm and I just have to come up and give it a wipe down with some UV protectant. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. I'm still using the same material. And you can see that's that's fairly clear in there. You know, these things have been up here for about about seven years now, I think. It's not crystal clear, but it's it's not bad either. This this usually helps my heat output from the panels when you can get them cleaned off. So you can see here's the after the protectant, and here's before I put any on. So before and after. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an update and let you know the procedure is still working. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post up in the comments section down below. And I'll put a link to the my home heating system over here. I'll put a link to that video over here on the left side. You might be interested in that. And as always, thanks for watching.